I'm Brian Lilly. I'm standing here at the Ottawa Central train yards, or the train yards of the Ottawa Central Railway. It's one of the smaller railways in Canada, but if things don't go better at the negotiating table between CN Rail and Unifor, places like this, as well as producers across the country, are going to be hit hard. CN Rail moves $250 billion worth of goods across Canada every year. We could see farmers being hit, we could see potash producers being hit, coal producers, manufacturers already due to a, a, a labor stoppage at the Port of Los Angeles. The Honda plant in Alliston, Ontario is reducing its labor force, its production capacity. Why? They just don't have the parts. Well, it's the same thing when it comes to a rail strike. And the sad part is this rail strike could happen because Unifor, a very political union, wants the employer, and ultimately you, to pay for their political activities. Here's what the press release from CN Rail was saying earlier. A key stumbling block is Unifor's demand that CN contribute cash to the union's political and community action fund. As a matter of principle, CN is not prepared to allow such a union agenda to take precedence over the interests of its employees. A Unifor says that's not the case at all. It's just a community action fund. In their press release, they said, The Canadian Community Fund is part of a long history of making gains at the bargaining table that are shared in the community, said Diaz. CP understood the value of this fund. It's unfortunate that CN does not see this opportunity. But of course, we know that's not exactly the truth. We know that Unifor is a very political union. That was their... That was one of their reasons for getting together. Dave Coles, who was president of the Communication, Energy and Paper Workers Union, said it'll be amazing when a union runs the country. Just last uh, Labor Day at, uh, at the big Unifor convention in Toronto, where they celebrated their first anniversary of the merged union that brought together the auto workers and the Communication, Energy and Paper Workers, Jerry Diaz, the union president, talked about how political they are, how political they want to be not only participating in the politics of the country, but shaping it and changing it. Because we understand as Unifor that in order for us to be successful as a movement, we have to play an integral role in society in general. So we are going to have Thomas Mulcair speak at our convention in Vancouver. We're going to talk about progressive policies and we're going to talk about taking back our country. Now, I have to say, I side with CN Rail on this. Unions can serve a purpose. They can definitely help workers and, and against a large corporation where there's a power imbalance. And look, I get that. And if it's about protecting jobs, that's one thing. But Unifor has shown that they want to be a very political union. They gave $300,000 from their head office to the Working Families Coalition to take down the Hudak government. They sent their workers out to campaign against Tim Hudak, not for the the Liberals or for the NDP, it was against Hudak. And they've said that they plan on doing the same thing against Stephen Harper and the Conservatives in the coming federal election. Should a company be forced to pay five cents per hour for every worker into a fund that's only going to be used to, to push the left-wing politics of the union leadership? I'd say no. And if you're a union member, you should be saying no as well. Just take a look at what uh, Hassan Youssef, he's president of the Canadian Labour Coalition, was saying recently. They were having a training session on how to fight back against the Harper Conservatives. And he admitted that, well, they did a pretty comprehensive survey of their membership and they're not all voting NDP. I'm going to tell you some news that you don't want to hear, Yusuf said at the event. We did the most comprehensive survey of our membership, and that's not you in the room, that's the unengaged membership, the ones who don't show up in the meeting. And here's what our unengaged members are saying. They think, for the most part, that Stephen Harper has done a reasonable job. So the members say that they want to vote for the Conservatives because they think they're doing a good job, but the union wants to take money from the members and now from the company as well to fight back against it. It's time to say no to the power imbalance. You know, once upon a time, maybe in the days of robber barons, there was a real power imbalance between workers and the companies, but now that power imbalance is between the workers and the union bosses, between the union bosses and the workers that pay for the cushy lifestyle of people like Jerry Diaz. This is a bad idea, and it should be stopped. But unfortunately, for that to happen, 
it might hit the Canadian economy really, really hard. Just remember that if a strike comes, it's also Unifor can find other ways to pay for their politics.